and welcome to Zetel Line Television. I am Uyo Agogo. Well, May 29th is around the corner and it comes down to Governor Okova's second administration. What is the way forward? With me today to discuss exclusively on this is Honorable for Kekeme Sullivan. So you're welcome to the program. Thank you. Nice to have you with us. You look good. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Okay. We are aware that you were the director general of the campaign team of Governor Okowa. How were you able to pull a winning vote from 23 local government? Well, thank you very much. <coughs> First, we had a um, good product. Okay. You know, Dr. Okowa is a good product. And uh, when a good product is uh, easy to sell, and um, so that was the first first advantage that we had. Okay. As a team. The second is performance. Uh, Let me see, Dr. Ifan Kowa did well to actualize the promises made to Deltans in 2015 to the extent that it had very high rating among the towns. Okay, sir. By the time we were going to do the election. And of course, we didn't take the towns for granted. We went to every local county of Delta. We campaigned every, every local government. We visited as many leaders and elders and youth groups of um, women groups um, less privileged every start of society so as uh, let me join you here as a member of the transition committee yes. is the committee satisfied with the reports that are being brought into the front line by the appointees, the commissioners, and every other person? Well, well it's, not, it's not for us to say we are satisfied or not, okay. um, but um, every performance by the governor is mirrored, encapsulated in the various NBS. Uh, the governor on his own account, he wouldn't go to a place. So he gives the direction, leadership. And so um, it's premature now, really, to talk on the committee because we had to conclude our assignment. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, there's this agitation, or let me say, a bill that has been passed that youth should be given a voice in the government. They should be included with the not too young to run bill. Looking at the transition committee, I can't find anyone in the age of, let me say, 19 to 25. Does this mean our state government is not giving voice to the youth? It's not. It's not. That's, that, that's not it. Is. Uh, first and foremost, is, is the law is federal law. Okay, and so it's I not applicable to... It's not domesticated. Okay. So, it's a federal... The federal, a federation. A law passed by federal government doesn't necessarily apply to the states. Why is that? That's, that's, that's the federal structure. Anyway, they won't stand up. Uh -huh. so, so you can't go to the US, for example, and Congress passes a bill and applicable to Georgia. No. Georgia will have to domesticate the law. So that's not the reason why, probably, um, but it, it is a priority for the governor to select those who think and think for him. So yeah, yeah. in the forthcoming, when I call May 29, mm -hmm. there is another phrase of that state government. Mm -hmm. What, or let me say, what is the government doing to ensure that there is youth inclusiveness in the country? Yeah, there are a lot of youth in this cabinet already. Really? For example, the uh, Commissioner for Lines is a youth. How old is he? Sorry. Well, yes, yeah, a youth. It's How old is he? It's, it's a youth. Okay, I can tell you it's a youth. And there are many other youths in this cabinet. And besides, uh, this one government that youth friendly. And um, we have had a lot to do about youth empowerment through a variety of programs. 
Okay. And uh, the government has said that it's going to double, increase, continue with these programs. Talking of uh, empowerment of the program, I believe it's step and uh, yap gap. There is critique that these things are being done based on nepotism and partisans. What do you have to say? Well, I don't, I, I, I don't have the facts. As far as I'm concerned, everybody across the states has a feel of it. Um, everybody has a right to criticize, but whether it's okay. constructive or destructive is what you know. So, from, from reports you have gotten, um, it is it's across, across the state. Um with the critique coming and everything. We know infrastructure is one thing that our governor is focused on. That's why we call him the road master. Mm -hmm. Let's look basically at our agricultural sector. Mm -hmm. This thing is being neglected. And if truly the state government can put more resources into the agricultural sector, we will not be fighting with all year and revenues and all this because we we'll have something else to hold up to. What is the government doing in this aspect to make sure that our agricultural sector is being used to the fullest? Well, I, I think you have to get your facts correct. It's not true that uh, the government is neglecting agriculture. In fact, it is one of the focal points of the SMART agenda. And there are many, many uh, testimonies to 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 to, to do show for it. So you can't write. I'm sure you have to check. Um, the government focuses on agriculture. The government believes that oil has a time limit, and government uh, has uh, continued to work on that. So I, the uh, agriculture. I, mean, I, I don't have the f exact facts, but okay. you can find that um, first and foremost, land banks have been created. Land bank. The, land, the, the, the land bank. Bank. You know, okay. where people. Who are, uh, who are interested in green agriculture can get to. There are a lot of programs, even agriculture. All the young people are agriculture programs. Oh, yes. So they can't, nobody can say they need agriculture. Okay, as chairman of Delta State, governing board of uh, Ozero Polytechnic, since your assumption of office, mm. what are the reforms that have taken place? Hey, you go there, you see it now. <laughs> You see the reforms yourself. You don't, it's not something that I can tell you. you go to the Jojora yourself and see the reforms. Is it infrastructure? Is it in um, 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 curriculum? Is it, is it in um, um, courses? Okay, in that sense, you're saying that the institution can be rated uh, uh, in target of technical education. It you know, can be. It's rated. It's rated. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's rated one of the best uh, protections anywhere. So it's, it's, it's something that uh, I'm proud of as governing council chairman. Okay. In your thoughts, how would you, what is your opinion on this age long bridge between the um, the dichotomy between the BLC and the Asian League. Well, this is for policymakers to look at. I don't, I don't, I don't have any uh, take on it because uh, uh, Nigeria's pain is inconsistency in policies. Okay. So I, I don't, I don't have any, any, any to say about that. But um, I don't see um, when the policy is consistent, then it will then um, advance humanity. But when it's inconsistent, policy inconsistent, then you see that there's a break, there's no continuity. So you can't, you can't harness the benefits of that policy. Okay. So no matter the structural standard of the state polytechnic or zero, it cannot be compared to BSA. Well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's that's the. The, the technical education is different mm -hmm. from general education. And that's, that, that's the point I'm missing. Okay. The, the point is that an HND holder can be as good as a BSc holder. So that's like the policy, some assault I'm talking about. Not, I'm not sure if you're talking about the content or the person's certificate. Okay? Mm -hmm. Or the ability or creativity. For example, in Azoro, um, our students and staff are the ones that are helping do all this work we're doing. We don't do any contract work. We do uh, work. Okay, finally, to save time, what is your word of advice to Dayton's? Well, they should continue to support Dr. Koa. Um, we first, we thank them for 
massively voting for him. They are unfortunate in the elections. I've already assured them that our confidence in him can be misplaced. Uh, what he needs is our prayers and our support. And Delta will be stronger and then in better days. Uh, thank you very much, sir. It's a pleasure having you here with us. Well, that's all we can take for today. Well, we hope that you visit us and join us in our subsequent interviews. I am Uyeru Agoru. Do have a lovely day.